shrink ka e i wa ring a sa ka ha la ring sa ka la ring sa ha ein kling ring shrink Namaste. So, those of you who have been following our channel for a while can understand that I've been struggling uh, to somehow share the insights and experiences on the path. And a lot of times I feel like I don't get through to people. And I finally had an insight about that yesterday. And I want to share this with you. Because maybe by working together, we can overcome the problem and make me feel good about uh, doing these videos again. See, the problem is, well, let me tell you how it came about. One of our viewers gave me a link to his teacher's website because he's also teaching about the Patanjali Yoga Sutras. And I put a link to the website in the video description. So you make sure and take a look at it because it's really excellent. And not only does he get the esoteric meanings of the sutras, but he explains them in a way that an ordinary person Without much background, he gives, he gives really good examples and simple explanations that make the teaching more accessible to people who don't have the, the background, which is pretty much everybody that's not living in a holy place in India and has a real guru. <laughs> so I was very impressed. And I think in the future, I'm going to defer to him for those who want to pursue the study of the Patanjali Yoga Sutras, because he just does a better job. Now, I've been living as a sannyasi pretty much alone in a holy place in India for, you know, most of my life <laughs> in North India back beginning in 1971. And now lately in the last 10 years in South India. So I have a limited perspective. In fact, I always had a limited perspective <laughs> on the people who don't understand these teachings. I guess I could say I'm ignorant of ignorance because to me, these teachings of the Vedic school are completely intuitively obvious. And they have been since the beginning. And I, I guess it's because I did a lot of sadhana in my past lives. I don't know, you know, but it sure looks that way because I pretty much effortlessly got most of the teachings and I only had to work on the application. So I don't have the experience that most people have of like, what the heck is this all about? Because it always seemed completely clear and obvious to me. But I can imagine, I can understand from the feedback, the limited feedback I've been getting on this channel, that most people find it very hard to grasp. So that's not anybody's fault. Nobody's bad or wrong because of it except maybe me, because I haven't put enough effort into understanding where people are at. But a lot of the responsibility is yours, too, because you have not been giving me the feedback that I asked for. You know, I, I posted a video last week, which was like very popular, about like, I give up trying to explain this stuff because nobody seems to be getting it. So now it's up to you to ask questions, to, to drive this channel, to show the direction we need to go on this channel um, to go further. Well, 
I got like one or two interesting comments. And most of those were private. They weren't comments on the channel itself. They were through some other messaging channel. So it's like nobody has responded. Now, I know you guys, the majority of you guys are not getting it. And the way I can tell that is that the language you're using in the comments is not the same as the language of the teaching. This tells me that you have not duplicated the teaching. What to speak of understood it or be able to apply it. Because duplicating the teaching, making an exact mental copy of the words used to convey the teaching is the first step in understanding. And in the ancient Indian tradition, the Vedic tradition, the first thing when the students come to the Gurukula, the house of the Guru, they are made to memorize many, many shlokas, huh? prayers and Sanskrit chants. They're not told the meaning. Well, these are like kids five to seven years old, so they wouldn't be able to understand the meaning anyway. But they are trained in memorization, and so they memorize and memorize and memorize word for word the original Vedic teaching. Then when they get a little older, they can start to ask questions, and there can be a dialogue between the teacher and the disciple. So... <laughs> This has not happened on this channel. I mean, a few people have asked good questions now and then, you know, but there should be multiple good questions on every single video. Then I know you guys are engaged. But see, the problem for me is I can't anticipate what, uh, what you're not going to understand. I am, and I admit it, I am ignorant of ignorance. I didn't have to work hard to understand this teaching. I had to work hard to apply it. That's a different story. That's, that's my thing, huh? But as, if, as far as between you and me, I have not got sufficient feedback to be able to understand what you don't understand. See, so just like it takes some courage for me to make these videos and share my understanding, it takes some courage for you to be able to share your doubts, your misunderstandings, and to ask good questions. A good question, to my mind, is a question that leads into a dialogue. Well, I watched this video and I didn't understand X, or I can't see how X can be true because of blah, 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 whatever, huh? your doubts. Or, I mean, are you really trying to tell us that X is true? I just can't believe that because X, Y, Z, what, one, two, three, whatever. These are meaningful questions. These expose your misunderstandings so that I can address them. And that kind of honest dialogue is exactly the thing that's missing in our society today in general. Everybody's taking a position, huh? identity politics, and then they say what's expected of them to you know, support that identity. Well, that's bullshit. That's not being sincere. That's not being honest, in my opinion. What is honest is an individual inquiry into the truth. Why is this so? Why do the Vedas say this and that? Or why do you say this or that? See, or how is it that such and such can be true? I don't understand. And I don't understand because blah, 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 blah. See, 
I don't even understand why you can't understand my understanding. <laughs> so you need to educate me. You need to teach me about what you don't understand so that I can help you understand it. I'm not sure if I'm getting through here. But what I need from you is more cogent questions. Questions that lead to a response. So not, I'm, I'm not just putting out, you know, the information that I think is cool, but I'm responding to your questions, to your heartfelt uh, doubts, and so on. In other words, to correct your misunderstandings, to shed light on the areas that you're ignorant of, because I don't know what they are. I've never been, as far as this lifetime anyway, in the position of people who find this Vedic knowledge difficult to understand. To me, it's just as clear as the sun on a, on a nice clear day. Well, today's kind of a cloudy day, but still. So you need to enlighten me, you need to help me to understand where you're at so that I can help you. And if you don't do that work, if you don't take that risk of exposing your doubts, exposing your ignorance, then there's no way that I can respond appropriately. So I've said the same thing now <laughs> in, you know, 11 different ways. <laughs> so that's why I posted that video that, you know, I'm done, now it's up to you, right? But nobody has really responded, and I don't understand why you're not responding. So to me, it's very discouraging. It's like the last video on the, on the Yoga Sutras got two likes, you know, two likes and one dislike, and a paltry number of views, like half the usual number of views that a video gets. Why? I don't know. Nobody left a comment. So, it, you know, it puts me in an untenable position. It puts me, it makes me have to guess why you don't like these videos. You know, and from my point of view, from my perspective, from my background, it looks like you don't like to hear about the original scriptures you want me to just riff off my own opinion about it and say the same thing without reference to any authority, without reference to any solid background. And to me, you see, that goes against my grain. I don't like that. I don't like it when I hear others doing it. I don't like it when I feel I have to do it in order to get a decent response on the videos. From my perspective, the authority of the Vedas is absolute. And our job is to figure out what it means, why they say it the way they do, and how to apply it. So that's the mood of a disciple. See, the mood of a disciple is not, oh, I don't understand this, it must be wrong. Now that's not the mood of a disciple, that's a critic. The mood of a disciple is, Oh, I don't understand this. How could it be correct? And then go to the teacher or the guru and question, how is this possible? I'm reading Maharishi's uh, conversations. And there's so many wonderful conversations where the students or devotees come to him and they ask him, why is this Vedic passage like this? Or what about what you said the other day? How is this possible? How is this true? And he explains. And there are also conversations where he becomes exasperated, <laughs> like the way I'm feeling now, huh? that how is it that these people aren't getting it? You know, they're seeing the example right in front of them. Maharshi is saying, you know, it's like, just realize it. Actually, it doesn't even need to be realized because this is, we're just talking about the way it is. Just open your eyes and look. 
And if you can't understand that this is just the way it is, if it seems something real mystical and far away, that means you, you're not understanding properly. You have to question it. You have to reveal your doubts. You have to expose your misunderstanding. You have to be honest about your ignorance. Otherwise, there's no way that I can help you. I feel powerless and I feel discouraged. I feel, why go on? Let me just make, you know, music videos or something. So I hope you understand my position and I hope you respond for crying out loud. I've been doing this for over eight years now and just haven't ever got the response that I need to do it effectively. So help me out here, all right? Aum Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.